been pretty quiet in the what's he doing in their garage this week, let me tell you. Behind me, I've got my Kato Zephyr Burlington Northern train with running, which uh, I got for Father's Day, and I was really, really excited about it and thought it was the coolest thing in the world and just loved it until I tried to run it, and then it kept derailing and jumping off the track. That's what it looks like. It's a beautiful thing, is it not? Uh, when I looked at it, I found that the trucks were just a little bit wider than they should be. And I thought, well, maybe I can just pinch them together and, and reseat them. They made a little snap when they went into place. So I think that these wheel sets all along here were always just a little bit far apart and never completely seated together. So when I squoze them, they pop back together again. And now this thing runs unbelievably great. Excuse me for a minute while I put this thing back on the track. This is important. Oh yeah, there it goes. That's a beautiful thing. So I'm glad that's sorted. But in projects, we are still working on the living room couch. It's, like I said, going slow because, uh, you know, it's been a wet blanket kind of a week. Louise is still sewing away, putting zippers, I believe, into the back cushions. I spent a lot of time, way too much time, trying to fit that last little piece into the very far end of the couch so it'll all match up and be a nice smooth transition. And I managed to get that piece fit satisfactorily. And now I have the rest of the parts up in the garage. And I've started filling them in with, with a wood filler so I can get a flat, as flat a surface as I can possibly get on those things. And um, I was kind of hoping I'd be sanding them and getting ahead of the game a little bit. But that just hasn't been the case. But so be it. It's not like we have a deadline on this thing or anything. It's just sort of something we keep doing. For the phone box project, nothing's happened at all. Not, not, not a single thing. We're just thinking about it, but yeah, there's nothing's really happened yet on that either. Music. I finally sorted out why my bass ukulele was making all kinds of buzzy, tappy, staticky sounds through my amp. I tried recording five or six takes of the Buddy Holly song I've been working on, Flower of My Heart. All five or six takes had mistakes in them. I haven't listened to the playback yet, so we'll have to see, put it into a mix and see what it sounds like. Maybe I'll wrap up that project. I won't have another unfinished project. Speaking of unfinished projects, I'm gonna show you a ukulele project. Most ukuleles kind of look you know, like this one. I wanted to challenge myself of building a ukulele that would be like an archtop ukulele. So here's the original plan. I have another one here, probably concert size for those keeping track at home. This is the soprano size. That's the small size. So I purchased a fretboard like this because I was intimidated at trying to make something like that. And eventually, out of some old shelving boards, I made this beauty right here. And it's a real arch top. It's got the it's got the carved bow on the front and in the back. The neck I made myself. This was meant to be a prototype because I wanted to make one out of some really nice wood, but I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. So I figured I'd better try making one out of something, some cheap shelving board material, which is what this is. And I didn't think it was going to turn out very well. And it's actually literally unfinished. There's got no finish on it. It's a raw, just the raw wood. unfinished ukulele. Here's the next set of unfinished projects, keeping it in the ukulele family. Take a look at 
that beauty. It's meant to look like a 1959 Dan Electro. I've never seen a ukulele look like a Dan Electro guitar before, and I love them and collect those Dan Electros. I purchased myself some more of these handy fretboards. Oh, I bought the neck as well. Um, so I've glued the fretboard on the mahogany neck, taped off the frets so I could sand it and put a little bit of finish on it. And that's as far as I've got. I have two of them. I got a little farther than just the neck. Over here, I've got not one body, but two bodies. This is tone wood, folks. Tone wood. Here's the other body with a rally stripe. And eventually, they will have their necks on them like this. Wouldn't you call that almost finished? Well, that's where we're at with this unfinished project, these Dan Electro ukuleles, and of course, my archtop ukulele, also unfinished. Why are you still looking? Are you expecting more unfinished projects? Because I got plenty of them. Maybe next time. So that's the doings this week. You know, sometimes life throws you awful things, but in the end, I look back and I'm looking at the good things. There really are plenty of good things. Charlie started school this week, and he's really enjoying it, which is like, how does that happen? We got this guy right over here. He's running like there's no tomorrow. This is great. Come on. And we're still doing some neat stuff, so I'm going to call it a win. Until next time, that's what's doing.